Hey everyone, this is Nick with Eternia's Toys, and I'm here with DC Multiverse Gorilla Grodd Injustice 2 from McFarland Toys. So I got this figure as a pickup from Macari and kind of liquidated a few items, a few collectibles, and I'm picking up some figures that um to, to expand my DC Multiverse here, and Gorilla Grodd is definitely one that I wanted to get a hold of. So here he is in all his glory, looking just like he did in the video game with his shiny armor. So he's not quite um, like one of the mega figures, but he is, he does feel weighty. Uh, as you can see here, uh, he's pretty thick. Um, and with these spikes here, you definitely don't want to drop him on your foot like I did a few minutes ago but anyway so it's got a good swivel here the armor I'm sure pieces of it looks like right here you could remove some of it but you couldn't remove all of it so most of it is definitely attached for good so what's the point but I don't I, I wouldn't really just want a gorilla piece uh, a gorilla figure I'd want gorilla grod and this makes him gorilla grod when he's all decked out uh, like he's supposed to be and he's uh, quite angry here he's getting into your head Rawr. so the likeness on gorilla grod I think is very good especially to the injustice video game uh, series and um, I'm hoping they make more of these uh, injustice figures I'm not real crazy about uh, more of the humanoid ones even though I do like uh, the green arrow one but I do like uh, any of them they could do like if they did Brainiac or if they did uh, hot man or hot girl anything like that where uh, there's uh, there's kind of an alien or or different species aspect to them I definitely would want to try to grab those those are those are fun to fill out uh, and they're not so uh, the redesign and in injustice is not so wacky he's a little stiff here at the knee but you can get it to pose so Try and get him stand up here. It'd be funny if he was standing just fine and then I got him so crazy. I was trying to stand him up straight. He ain't gonna have that. Toes are key, just like with us. So here he is. Next to Batman. Looks pretty good. Ready for that battle. So I haven't really seen Gorilla Grodd in stores. Um, I may have passed him by one time early on before I was really into this line. However, um, He's pretty easy to find on the secondary market and at pretty decent prices. So, final thoughts on Gorilla Grodd. He's a good figure, good add to the collection. Probably not a top tier figure for me, uh, but still a lot of fun. And as you can see, uh, he's obviously a good contender when it comes to battling Batman. So that is Gorilla Grodd. I give him a rating. I he's he's kind of mid for me. So I say out of five, I'm giving him a three, three and a half. Uh, sculpt is good. Uh, he he moves well, but he just I, I'm kind of being a little biased here. He's just not a favorite of mine, but fun to play in the video game. And I, you know, as I have him and it goes along, I may have a lot more fun with him. We'll see. So thanks for watching. Be sure to check out my Instagram page at Eternius Toys. 
Also like, subscribe, and let me know if you have this figure, or if not, you, it, will you be adding it to your shelf? Uh, thanks. That's all for now. Have a great day and enjoy your toys.